Hello, Fancy Chapel. It's great to be together again. Uh, just gonna dive right in here. And so I gotta ask this question first off. Who is starting to feel a little bit like this Job? He's a lot like, like, like there's a character I can liken him to. Like, isn't he a little bit like Eeyore out of Winnie the Pooh? Like, it is just always doom and gloom. But you know what I love about today's reading? In today's reading, there are just some really great encouraging things that I don't know if Job actually meant them as encouraging, but I was greatly encouraged. And so we're going to look at those today. There's lots we could look at today, but I just want to focus on a couple of verses here today. So starting in chapter 14, we're, we're in chapters 14 to 16 today. And chart, starting in chapter 14, verses 8 and 9, Job is talking about this tree. And if you cut down a tree, he's saying, even if you put a little bit of water on the stump, that stump is going to come back to life. And at the sniff of water, it will bud and put forth shoots like a plant. And then if you skip down to verse 14, he says, If a man dies, will he live again? All the days of my hard service, I will wait for my renewal to come. And I just love that. That to me is just this picture of Job saying, Oh, if somebody would just pour a little bit of water on me, I would come back to life. And that just reminds me so much of John chapter 4, where Jesus meets the Samaritan woman by the well. And it's interesting to note that he offers her this water that I think Job is referring to, uh, that he longs for. And he says to this woman, if you knew who I was, you would ask me, and I would give you streams of living water that would satisfy your thirst in ways that this physical water never could. And so I just love that picture of how um, this verse talks about this renewal that we need in our lives sometimes. And the reality is that the lowest, driest soul will come back to life at the sniff of water that Jesus can give. I just love that. So meditate on that a little bit today. Then if we look at chapter 15, here we've got Eliphaz again and all of his amazing wisdom. And in verse 11, I think he touches on something that for me personally, I can identify with very well. He asks the question, are God's consolations not enough for you? Words spoken gently to you. Church, I think sometimes in our deepest need, we sometimes confuse what we need most. Sometimes we feel like, oh, if God would only rescue me, or if God would only save me from this trial, or if he would only give me strength in this trial, then, then, I, would, then I would be able to make it through. But I think often what we miss and what we need to come back to is what we need most in our trials is a word from the Holy Spirit, a word from God. And I recently had a time that I could talk to you about sometime um, where I realized that personally, where I was going through a difficult day and God just stopped me in my tracks and said, Kevin, just spend a few minutes worshiping me. And those few minutes just completely transformed my day. And I can say with just joy in my spirit, how much just taking a bit of time to recognize what we truly need in a moment where we feel overwhelmed or in a trial, how much what we really need is a word from the Lord and how much life that gives us. So consider that today. And then if we jump over to chapter 16, Job is going to again talk about just how hard life is, how difficult his life is. And I, I really don't think he's exaggerating. He is in some really difficult stuff. But what I love is how he ends it. In verse 19 to 21, here he is talking about what I believe is actually a prophetic picture, a prophetic reference to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. He says, even now my witness is in heaven. My advocate is on high. My intercessor is my friend. And as my eyes pour out tears to God, on behalf of a man, he pleads with God as a man pleads for his friend. Friends, this is a picture of Jesus that we talked about a few days ago in 1 Timothy 2 verse 5, but also of the Holy Spirit that's referred to in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27, how the Holy Spirit intercedes for us sometimes with groans that we don't understand. And so I just find that an amazing way, an amazing acknowledgement of who Jesus is in our time of need. So some questions today. Do you feel spiritually dry and thirsty? If so, ask Jesus to revive and renew you in your spirit today and just spend some time there. Don't rush that. And, and then if you feel like Jesus speaks to you, ask him if there are some steps of obedience that you can take today that would lead you to this place of life that you desire and that you need. If you're in a trial, can I ask you, what are you seeking most? Are you, speak, are you seeking deliverance? Are you seeking freedom? Or are you seeking a word from God? 
I would encourage you today to spend some time. If you're in a difficult trial, ask God to speak to you about that today. And thirdly, just spend some time praising him. Spend some time praising Jesus, that he is our mediator. Spend some time praising the Holy Spirit, that he is our intercessor, and that he promises to always be with us. Have a blessed day. 